Hi everyone, my name is Light, and I'm an artist. But the term artist can be kind of vague, right? What type of artist am I? What types of art do I enjoy? Art can be taken in multiple different forms, and many times artists enjoy multiple different types of art. The platforms I have online are all used to express my artistic creativity and to share my passions with those who want to follow me on my journey. But what happens when an artist has too much passion? and not enough time. As of recording this, I'm 22, and your energy levels as an adult definitely don't compare to the sheer passion and speed a teenager has. For me personally, I really like music. I draw, I cosplay, I want to make animations, I want to make a manga or webtoon, I want to draw fan art, make original art, make YouTube videos. If you follow me on other social media, you can definitely tell that I put a lot of my time into fan art and dedicating a lot of different projects to the current medias that I love. And of course, you would attract the audience of those same medias, also known as fandoms. And I think definitely in the art community, when you're showing your content for a bunch of people to watch, and that leads to you subconsciously catering your content towards the audience and not really enjoying what you create 100% of the time. And a lot of the time, it definitely leads to a lot of horrendous art blog. And of course, the inevitable burnout. And unfortunately, I think I'm kind of dealing with the biggest burnout I've ever had in my entire life. I always have to remind myself that an artist is actually their own biggest critic. I guess for my case personally, art has always been a form of self-expression. Something that I grew to love over time, something I enjoyed ever since I was a kid. Being an artist has always been a part of me. Not peering too deep into my personal life. My entire life, I just felt like everything has been chosen for me. There was a specific path of life I was supposed to follow, a set of guidelines I always had to stick with. But with art, it was different. This was something that I chose myself. Everything else has been an outside influence and I just felt like this was just something, one of the only things that belonged to me. This alone made me who I am. And I think I held on to it so tight. I was so afraid to lose it that it began to be just like everything else. A chore in my life. Just another thing that adds onto the list of what is expected of me. So many thoughts flooding my brain that correlate to the wounded relationship I had with the one thing I was supposed to love. The algorithm, the feedback, the numbers, my expectations, my audience's expectations. Everything coming down to the pressure I'm putting on myself to just constantly put out content. That if I fail any expectations that I had on myself, I didn't deserve anything. If I opened a new canvas and I wasn't able to put anything on it for hours, I was a failure. If I wasn't able to accomplish any of my art goals, I failed both myself and my inner child. And you know, I didn't really know what to do with myself during those moments. And I think reflecting back on this year and all of my previous years in art, I think overall I'm just very tired. And I just need some time to relax and take a break even if I think I don't deserve it or I don't need it. And I also think it's very important to just be able to forgive myself as an artist, as a person. And I know I'm not perfect. I know all of my negative feelings about myself and my art will definitely come and go. But that's pretty normal. It's okay if I have senses of doubt. I'm allowed to feel that way. All that matters is that I enjoy what I do and I enjoy what I create. After all, I did make a lot of stuff from a blank canvas. I think that's pretty impressive, wouldn't you think? So I guess that leads me to where I am today. No matter where I do it and no matter how I do it, I just never want to stop creating. You know, <laughs> I just kind of gathered all of my hesitating thoughts and put them in a video to share with you all. Not that bad of a channel intro, isn't it? No, it was really depressing. Ultimately, I do want to make content that people can enjoy. And of course, I just hope I can make content that I can enjoy too. I know there's a lot of you out there who can relate to my rambling, but I just hope that this can inspire you just a little bit. I know I'm not that active here on YouTube because it takes a lot just to make one video, but I might change that soon. Well, actually, we'll kind of see how it goes because I had this video planned for a couple months now, and how long has it been? But no matter where you support me, here on YouTube, on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, <laughs> if you're still on there, I still appreciate every single one of you for accompanying me on my art journey. And of course, there's still many more years to come. So with that, I shall hopefully see you soon. Take care.